Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 38. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to use a default argument in your function. Now, you could do this in case someone forgets to supply an argument or you could do it in case you decided, well, hey, my function, all of the arguments that my function is going to use aren't entirely necessary. So for the ones that are necessary, we won't give a default argument to, but for the ones that are, um, are not really necessary, we'll just uh, give a default argument to those. And then that way, whenever the programmer later on wants to use this function, um, they can supply all of the arguments if they want to, or they can just supply one or two of the arguments. Uh, so to show you what I mean by all of this, let's create a function and I'm just going to call, call my function say hello. So uh, function, not function, say hello. And all it is going to do is say hello, whatever. Okay, so very descriptive function there. Uh, and I'm going to make it expect two arguments. So the first argument it should expect is going to be the greeting. And the second argument that it should uh, expect is going to be uh, a name. And then all I'm going to make this function do is say, uh, it's just going to echo out greeting or the greeting and then it's going to also echo out uh, space so we'll just append on that and then append on the name as well so whatever you choose to be a greeting let's say it's uh, your greeting is going to be hello or ciao or whatever language you're speaking and you want a greeting that's going to fit that language you could go ahead and put that in there and then uh, also it can echo out your name uh, should you choose to put that in as an argument. Okay, so now let's call this function. So I'm going to call say hello and I'm going to supply a greeting of just hello there but I'm going to purposefully leave out this name argument. So uh, let me just put a semicolon in there before I get an error. Save this and now when I click refresh you can see I've got an error that says missing argument two for say hello. Okay, and that's because we left out this name uh, argument. Okay, now if I went ahead and supplied that argument, so let me say I put in my name Quinton, then this would work just fine. Uh, when I click refresh now, my program will work and it'll say hello there Quinton. But let's take that out because I'm going to use a default argument instead. So the way we use a default argument in PHP is whenever you're uh, telling your function to expect an argument, also add in an equal sign and then set it equal to the value that uh, you want to use. So I'm just going to use user as my default name. Okay, so uh, basically now whenever this function is called if we forget the name attribute like let's say we purposefully forgot it then uh, it's no longer actually necessary because we're not going to get an error our, uh, our program should still echo out the word user so we've got hello there user instead of getting an error uh, which is obviously quite nice but if we decided that, hey, we don't want to say hello there user, we'd rather echo the user's name, then all we need to do is remember to actually add in a name here. So we'll add in Quinton again. And now when I click refresh, I've still got, I've got hello there Quinton. So if we pass an argument, then our argument will override the default argument but if we forget to pass the argument then our function will make use of the default argument instead of throwing an error and crashing the program. Uh, so 
that's how to use a default argument in PHP and that's all I have for you guys in this video so obviously don't forget to subscribe please feel free to leave a comment like or share the video it's really gonna help my channel grow and I will see you guys in the next tutorial